OK Twitter. Here is a quick demonstration of how I magnetized the arm weapons on my Warlord Titan from Forge World. Here we have the big hunky torso. What I did is I put this carbon fiber rod, uh, which is eight millimeters thick. I drilled it into the shoulder and then I beveled in a 30 millimeter wide hole. And into that I put those donut magnets. So the, those are really strong N52 grade donut magnets. So they've been epoxied in. There's two in each shoulder like that. There you go. And all stuck together extremely strong. So that's kind of like the inner bit. And then for the actual guns, I drilled a hole into the weapon mount, the same depth as the mounting post, a bit deeper, leveled it out again, epoxied another two 13 millimeter by two millimeter donut magnets in, used really, you know, loads of epoxy around that. That's really slow, but strong setting epoxy. And the idea there is to have a little separation between the magnets in there and the magnets here to stop them smashing together. And then the weapon, well, this is the bellicose volcano cannon. And of course it has a gun shield that goes with it. What I've done is I've magnetized the mount so that can either go in that side like so or that side like so. So it's completely interchangeable. More magnets, more holes, magnets and holes and that snaps on there and then the whole weapon sticks on there like that. Sun Fury Plasma Annihilator, same drill. This isn't so ambidextrous, but it does have these plasma flasks. So another couple of magnets and that now can reverse. So it goes on either side, exactly the same drill with mounting. And in it goes. There you have it. Modular weapon mounts for Forge Worlds, Warlord, Battle Titan. Hope you found that useful.